I really know what to say about my race. I'm so proud of them, and I love the Welsh with a passion that's uh, almost idolatrous, and particularly the South Welsh, the people I know best, and particularly the mining class. Descending the bulk towards the Ronda on a summer's evening. So now we're down in the Ronda village of Tom Pentra, where there is, in my opinion, one of the greatest chippies in the country, namely a fish called Ronda. I don't believe it, they didn't have any cheese, but there's a shop here. Yes. British nerds will know this place as the location on Channel 4's Humans where some of the robots realised they could achieve I don't know, sentience or immortality or something in a cabin up there but to me this is the book it is the mountain that separates the three valleys, two of which we've already explored, the Rhonda, Lockmore Vale, and I'm going to go down the Afan Valley. We're talking Abergwynfi, Kuma. Cumavon, Port Talbot, and then on to Neath. I might miss out Port Talbot though. This is Abergwynfi. I lived in that church there for a year. And there's, oh, you can't really see it, Blind Gwynfi on the sunny side of the ravine. This might be the most scenic valley of all, although that's arguable after what we've seen already. This is the Afan Valley. This is Kummer, beautiful terraced bungalows, all different colours, blink and you'll miss it. That was 
was the road to my stake back there, but uh, I don't think anyone would mind if we gave my stake a miss, including the people from my stake. That little uh, cul-de-sac valley down there is Glen Corrig. It is a mountain bike heaven. Next up, boy. Next up, Pontre Duffin. Now, the boomers might know about Pontre Duffin because it's the birthplace and indeed the, the home of Richard Burton when he was alive. And the media circus came to town. <laughs> when Elizabeth Taylor, his wife at the time, came to visit. Hang on, there are two of those viaducts here. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello, you beautiful. Oh, don't blame me being in the shade. Oh, so beautiful. didn't even test that wasn't an electric fence. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, oh more, more putting. Beautiful. Oh, dusty. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go now. I have to go now. I don't have to go anywhere, really. Bye-bye. <laughs> so many of these viaducts have been knocked down over the past century due to safety concerns. It's the same in the north of England with the uh, the tall chimneys. These are the routes the old coal trains would have taken. And there are still many more of these further up the valley that have been demolished. Well, I couldn't show you them because the trees had overgrown them. These sandals are falling apart now. I think it's just the Velcro has gone on them. Hmm.
and on the way back, exposure, <laughs> the brown horse has come for a perch. Hello, hello, oh, 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 no, no. So we now enter Cumhaven, but it wasn't the housing I want to show you. Ugh. Nor the fire breaks on the mountain forest every few hundred meters that prevents forest fires. Are you listening, Australia, California, Greece? No, what I wanted to show you was that the local shops at Cumhaven. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. If you want to park your van here for free, no problem and you have those beautiful shops at your convenience oh, I'm so glad someone's put graffiti on it otherwise it was just awful hmm a giant Octopus pondering the purpose of three washing machines. Hmm. 